I think we found it. My, oh, oh my. General. General. My God. Get Wayne. Get Wayne. Wait, we need your help. Everyone, we have a new mission. We've located an island in the Bermuda Triangle the locals call Isla de la Pelvis Gigante, which basically translates to Pelvis Island, and on it are animals we long thought extinct. Extinct animals are extinct. That means they're not alive anymore. As I was saying, the island's populated by animals we long thought to be gone, and our analysis shows a high likelihood a creature the central agency's been after for many years is definitely, possibly there. This is the Ouroboros, an extinct bovine creature that ate itself out of existence. So they ate too much, and then went extinct? They ate themselves, and then they went extinct. Correct, Ombudsman. They commit an act known as autosarcophagy, and after thousands of generations, their whole species died from self-inflicted cannibalism. How on earth did they ever make it past one generation? How do we even know this creature once existed? Were you there? I need evidence! Oh, sorry. Here. Seeing is believing, not fancy documents. It's not the creature we're after. It's the natural oils in the Ouroboric skin. You see, they cure cancer. <gasps> How do we know that? Just about the first problem. How can we really know it ever existed if it's not right here before us? I agree. If we don't see them anymore, then therefore, they are extinct. It's simple logic. But wait. If there were a multiverse, and we're simply living in one of the many universes, then theoretically, it could exist right now. And what if we're on a planet in that universe? Whoa. I'm not sure what to believe. There must be some kind of grandfather paradox going on or something. I'll resolve this, everyone. Since I'm a freaking astrophysicist, let's say a magic rodent's still alive and it's on this cockix island. Our guys get in there and find it, then what? They take it off the island, we excrete the oils in some lab, replicate them, package them, and cure cancer? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. To the letter. So this island, where is it? If it exists, ha! Can't see air, can you? Glad you asked, albeit for the wrong reasons. It's exactly around here, somewhere in between that triangle and the water shape. Sounds awesome! I think we should reason this out a bit more. This is literally me telling you all a mission, not a decision on if we should go or not. Wayne, Rick, and our survivalist, who for whatever reason has the most unsurvivalist sounding name in history, are all going. In like 10 minutes. D.I. Desha Vogelfleet. I'm sure that was a good point, whatever you said. But what does Wayne even have to do with all of this? What are you even doing right now, Wayne? Writing a French poem. Of course, very relevant. If France even exists! Rick, you know where to get your funding. Godspeed. Thank you, sir. Pale off what you need. A yunk? Well, guys, according to the general, Pelvis Island should be somewhere in this small 50,000 mile area. I am so not prepared for all this. 
There's gonna be dinosaurs, giant saber cats, and all kinds of ancient horrors awaiting us on this ungodly rock. Hey, I see it. It's just a couple thousand miles that way. just knew there'd be dinosaurs. Dinosaur? Not quite. Look! Wait a second. PETA? People for the appropriate treatment of animals? What stake do they have in all this? Food. Thanks, Wayne. How are we going to cook this? I forgot my flint and my lighter. Ha. Like that soggy wood will work. I'm a survivalist. I'm prepared for anything, and I think I know the first thing about starting a fi- Rick, a boat. Over here! Hello there! Jump on board! I'm Captain Ash. My crew is... somewhere. Hi, I'm Rick. That over there writing is Wayne. And this is, well... His name isn't really worth mentioning. It doesn't fit his career choice. Ouch. Mm. So... What brings you kids out to this most treacherous stretch of sea? We're, uh, we're searching for an island. Maybe you've heard of it. Pelvis Island? Isla de la Pelvis Gigante. Yes, I'm very familiar. But no one goes there. It's a terrible place. Well, there's something we need to find there. Can you take us? No, I'll never go to that island. There's evils there no man should speak of. Terrifying creatures from a bygone era. Lurking in the thick jungle, waiting for their next victim. No, I don't go there. Ever. No one does. And I cannot be persuaded otherwise. I'll give you 50 bucks. Tax free. You have a deal. There it is. Pelvis Island. I've got to admit, really excited about seeing the dinosaurs on the island. I've always loved dinosaurs. I don't. Well, son, I'm sorry, but there aren't any dinosaurs on Pelvis Island. They're on its sister island, Pin Island, just over there. Blast! Well, Captain, shouldn't take us more than a day to find it. Maybe 26 hours, 14 minutes, 38 seconds. I trust you, boy. However, all your promises mean nothing to me, because I'll be here. Trust me, you owe me fifty dollars, untaxed, and I aim to get what I'm owed. Even if it destroys this very cargo ship's multi-million dollar beluga tuna shipment in the process, I'll be here, waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Even if it takes a year, I'll be here, eagerly expecting my fifty dollars, untaxed. Okay. Even if my men should starve, and I'm lying here, dying of scurvy, Leukemia and AIDS combined. I'll be here, dying, alone, and unshowered, covered in the icky, icky brine of the sea around us, waiting for my fifty dollars, which I deserve. Untaxed, of course. Well, the general says that our researchers believe the Ouroboros lives in a tropical climate. 
So we have a pretty good head start. Just keep an eye out for danger. Who knows what's out there? Good point. I've always wanted to see extinct animals. Ground sloths, woolly mammoths, saber cats, and dodo birds. Hey, those were not on my list. Nor was that, or that, or that, that, that either. Or that, or that, or that. You know, this place is slowly becoming disappointing. Where are we? I don't know. Only I could find my GPS. Hey, let's go up that hill. It's a better vantage point. Whoa, what is this place? It's a PETA fob, forward operating base. How do you know? The signs. We have to get around these guys. Where are we going? I've got it. My flint. And I have an idea. What? If you break down this mission into bullet points, the whole thing becomes clear. One, get to the island. B, find the Ouroborx. And three, leave the island with said Ouroborx. Now that means we're already roughly 33.33% done. Repeating, of course. All we have to do is find the Ouroborx now, and we'll be over half done. Well, that sounds good. Let's do that. Well... We should hunker down for the night, recharge the old batteries for tomorrow, then maybe we'll actually do something. I think you're an idiot. Respectfully, of course. Let's just go past these trees up ahead. I guarantee we'll find the Ouroboros there. All right, you talked me into it. Hey, you found it! Uh, about that. We might need to take another day. Hey, I found my GPS. Well, today has been way more productive than yesterday. I cannot believe how Wayne handled those giant extinct scorpions. That's Wayne for you. I doubted everything I heard about him, but now, I believe. Well, based on our lab's research, the Ouroboros drinks water. So I figure we should go to the lake up ahead and see if we can find it. Farewell, Bucephalus. Always remember what I told you. Good point, friend. Check out these bovine hoof marks. They're leading right to the pond. Hey, you're right. It's the Ouroborix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we found it. Darn it. No, it's not. It's just the Oryx. Wait. That's the Ouroborix. Let's test it first. Amazing. That's outstanding. And look how cute this thing is. You're so cute. You're gonna cure cancer, aren't you? Aren't you? Not on my watch. Huh? You have a terrible French accent. I am French Canadian. Ah, that makes sense. We have been watching your people ever since you set that village natives free from the island's Medusa curse. Uh -huh. Look, look. We'll leave the island. Just don't hurt me. I mean us. You'll never stop us! We're going to cure cancer! Well, after we've flown back and made it through customs and all that. You'll never even make it to customs! Haha! <laughs> it is Peter's mission to stop people from abusing or endangering these animals. We will never find justification for hurting one of these beautiful harmless creatures. <coughs> never will we renege on our principles of protecting life and freedom. Now, men, shackle these people and lock them up so they can never hurt anything ever again. Yeah! Ha! Hee! Ah! Er! Ah! Ah! 
Ceratotherium simum, the northern white rhinoceros. Well, those aren't quite extinct yet. Good. Now we have you where you can't hurt that poor animal. What did you do to the Ouroboryx? We put him away safely in a holding cage, so you murderers can never imprison him. And in case you imbeciles try to escape, we have the entire island rigged to explode, so you humans can never endanger any of these cherished relics. Ha <laughs> ha! You poo poo head! Ha <laughs> ha! So that is your argument! Ha <laughs> ha! You make me laugh! Ha ha ha! Take these two away, but keep this one here. His mysterious silence intrigues me. Hey! Where are your chains? What is this? Très bon! <laughs> you are good. These goobers don't understand. When you hurt an animal, you hurt a human being. We are, after all, their relatives. You see? If you subscribe to your naturalistic philosophy, then yes. But you also run into a problem. Naturalism rejects the notion of God. And if you reject the notion of God, then you reject the notion of concrete objective morality. Without morality, there is no good or evil, which in turn makes there be no difference if man harms or does not harm animals and them's the same to man. If your organization subscribes to this belief of relationship between man and animal, everything your organization does and believes is suddenly rendered futile. I'll kill you! After him! Let's split up. Hey, a little dolphin. You are so cute. Oh, so cute. Where'd you get the key, Wayne? Frenchy. Let's get the hell out of here. Get the orb work so we can get it to safety. Not on my watch. Seriously? Put the rifle down. I have something for you. What? A trick or something? No. I wrote a poem. Really? I love poetry. And it's in French. Mon dieu! This is the most incredible thing I have ever read! It says so much, with so little, and yet, it is the perfect amount. I don't want to do this anymore. Thank you, Wayne. I'm going to travel. No, start college again. Wow! I don't know what to do with my life anymore. Ma vie a changé à jamais. So, you boys made it back. Again, that's good. Yeah, it was quite the adventure. Thank God it's over. Why are you there again? Oh, 
We're in there getting the Ouroboros. Wait, we forgot the...